are all doing well today I wanted to share with you guys a new clean beauty brand called merit and they have some new products that I really really wanted to try and so if you want to know more about their base product and their lip oil then just keep on watching today I wanted to talk a little bit about clean beauty I've been hearing the words clean beauty green beauty everywhere there's just a lot of confusion about what makes clean beauty clean and what ingredients should we be watching out for and I know Sephora has their own definition of clean beauty so I was on Sephora's website and I saw that clean beauty does not contain any of these ingredients however when I was like looking through some other products that were not clean they didn't have that clean logo but as I was looking through their ingredients, I wasn't able to see which of those ingredients make it so that they're not clean. For example, I was looking at this Rare Beauty Blush and it contains all of these ingredients and I wasn't able to tell, well, which of these ingredients are not clean. Does that mean Rare Beauty is not clean? Kind of, you know, seems a little bit unfair to label certain brands as unclean. So I really thought that a lot of it was actually a marketing strategy. That's kind of the truth. And the thing is clean beauty is, it's a word that is going to be used, but the best we can do to educate ourselves on what does clean beauty actually really even mean is just to continue to have honest conversations with brand owners, retailers, and the like. That was a very, very long-winded intro, but today I wanted to just share with you some clean beauty products on my face to see kind of how I can get a really, really natural look. And a lot of the time, they're actually marketing just a really, really natural, glowy look. You can get also get that really clean, natural, glowy look just by makeup application using minimal makeup and you can get that really, really glowy look that we all love. I'm gonna wipe a little section off on my face with this fresh kombucha cleansing treatment. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Now, this is a new brand to me. I really, really liked the packaging. I really liked the color scheme and also what they stand for, less is more. They just have a really, really pretty aesthetic. It's, this is the Merit Minimalist, Le Minimaliste and it has everything in French. It has everything translated in French, although it's not a French company. This is made in South Korea. And I have two shades here, linen and silk. Linen seems to be a little bit more yellow based and silk is more pink based or neutral. So that's kind of the shade difference. And here I'm gonna blend it out with the other side of my brush. I do think the peachier one goes well with my, a little bit better with my skin. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that all out. And this is said to be a foundation and concealer stick all in one. How I think of this is a foundation stick that is also natural. Kind of like what I want an hourglass foundation stick to be, but it's a lot prettier. It is much more natural. You can also use it under your eyes. Just kind of where my dark circles are blended out. So that's kind of what Merit Foundation Stick looks like on my skin. I also want to share with you Merit Beauty Tinted Oil Shade Slick. It's a tinted lip oil. These are made in the USA. The two shades I picked up are Eau Naturelle and Marrakech. And Eau Naturelle compared to Marrakech is just a little bit more peachy and Marrakech is, is a little bit more of a toasty coral color. The packaging is really nice. It looks like a little tiny nail polish almost. Very, very pretty. Right now, I have Eau Natural on my lips. This gets really close to my lip color. They are both really, really reflective because they have oils, but they're not sticky at all. So this is Marrakech. This is a really, really nice, pretty MLBB kind of color. You can wear it with um, no makeup and you'll, and you'll still look really natural. Not too light and not too dark. That's Marrakech. I really like this one. I'm still doing my research on whether or not I really need to just be using Clean Beauty. It's totally okay to be purchasing 
clean beauty product as long as you know that it's kind of a marketing tool and that not everything that isn't clean beauty is unsafe I'm still going to be using products that are not necessarily clean I think I just want a little bit more concealer so I'm gonna be using this Ilia concealer in the shade Suma it gives a nice orange tint to cover up any dark circles and I always like to use peachy or something a little bit darker under my eyes so that's what I did with the Ilia and I don't go too far up and yeah it's a lot more orange than the rest of my base makeup but that's okay because I kind of want that to conceal my current favorite concealers right now are the Dior I really like the Dior forever concealer and some Korean concealers so I don't know if I will you know, be keeping this Ilia one or if I really want to keep using it but so far it, it looks nice I'll just blend that out a little bit as long as you perfect your base have a nice shiny lip, mascara and some blush, I think that's good enough A little bit on my under eyes. Okay. How about I just add a little bit of blush to my cheeks? This is Honest Beauty and it's a really nice deep rosy mocha color. And it's very emollient and light. And I just use my fingers to spread it out. I really like cream blushes these days. A lot of people are coming out with cream blushes. And I think it's because it sits well on the skin, especially if you have any kind of textured skin. Cream blushes are forgiving. It doesn't cling to dry patches or roughness in the same way powders do. It's really natural looking and hydrating to the skin. So I think people kind of like cream blushes. And also I just like to go over the bridge of my nose. So yeah, that's how basically I do this makeup look four products only my base my tinted lip oil mascara and a cream blush this is the bare minimum that i will wear i'm gonna continue looking up different definitions of clean beauty different ingredients that we should be avoiding if you like this kind of content and you also want to learn more about clean beauty what it means and follow me along that journey please give me a like and a follow below please also follow me on instagram and yeah thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video i'll see you guys next time Take a trip or two away.